In the first episode of how did you make that video, it was the royal visit and what we did in terms of video making education is we looked at this particular video and then we broke it down in terms of its components to learn something about how we're going to make our videos in the future. So in that way we looked at the timeline and we found out there were um, seconds and events on screen, 3.45 seconds per clip with Prince Charles in Australia. Now let's go on and have a look at this week's um, episode, episode 2 which is Ancient Maya, which is a National Geographic video of nearly 4 minutes and there are lots of components. So let's get started on doing a quick video deconstruct. What you see on screen is the Vegas Movie Studio 15 editor. What I've done is I've downloaded it in terms of education so we can learn something. So the first thing we need to know and I would encourage you to go away and watch it if you haven't done already is the first component works with and I'm just going to bring it into um, here with some drone shots. So if you've got a drone you can go along and do some raw footage using a drone and you can see it moves along like that. After that they go into, and I'm just going to look at the uh, components here, where you can see it cuts off. I'm just going to bring it into a timeline here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it goes off into, and I would say that these images on screen, what you're seeing, are probably taken for some virtual exhibit. And then they go back to the drone and they introduce and watch the way the animation is going on screen. Let me just bring that down a little bit bigger so you can see it. Frame by frame they build. I'll come to that in animation in a moment of how we could do something very, very simple and easy using Google Drawings and a video editor. So after they build the slides and they're using drone footage again, they go on and they do something quite interesting with the way they build the slide to a grey grid and then they build up a timeline. Now that timeline has got some really really nice graphics. Now let's be fair about this, this is quite complicated and quite lengthy video making if you're going to do this. So don't expect you're going to build a graphic like this in you know 20 minutes or even an hour. You're probably going to take a good old piece of time. So that actual animation with slides and building takes about bottom right of the screen about 30 seconds to go through and the way I've made the video together is to say that on the lower video line are simple things like videos and photos you can see there there is some ambient uh, in other words some, some fields and things then they go back in again and revisit another animation which takes quite a bit of time to deal with in other words, to build. I would say, and this is a total guess, maybe Adobe After Effects, um, you could even make it in a video editor separately. Who, who knows? The point of it is, is that they've got one section of animation. They've got a second set oh, of animation. Then they go into a small revisit, which is a third set. <coughs> excuse me, I was coughing, and then they go into a quite nice ending when it really comes to life with some photos and some real life footage. And then this is a big win really, is because right near the end they give you a sheet which is all about the National Geographic team that possibly made it. So the one that um, is quite interesting is do you know what, I'm not going to name names, but if you go and investigate, shall we say, some of the uh, production and things at the top, you can actually get down to finding these people on LinkedIn. Who knows? You know, get hold of them, have a chat to them. So then it ends up with a bumper video at the end, which is pretty much nothing to do with Maya, it's just an advertisement, which is about 15 seconds long. So finishing up, there's two things. First is, when you look at these build animations, what I've done here, and I'm just going to dial in because I've, I've made this using Google Drawings. And what I've done with Google Drawings, this is just a demonstration of how you can do it yourself. I've taken a general image from the web, which is uh, the Colosseum here. And then what I've done is I've built in a standard slide when it builds. Um, actually, muted that track. 
Um, so in other words, we come in, let me just play it, and stop. Can you see that there is a grey rectangle which is semi-transparent, which is building? So in other words, what I'm trying to do is create an animation inside this editor. Then I can come along and build another second slide where it says history, and then I can come in and build another one which starts to build um, a small animation. My point is that if you want to do something very simple yourself, um, you can build something on a video timeline or in a video editor that has multiple tracks. So let me just play the animation. So what we've got is some transparent PNGs with a border, yellow text, some more yellow text, and then some more yellow text. Finish. Nothing complicated. Took me literally less than five minutes to do. That's how you could do it yourself. Then the final, final thing I want to finish up with, and uh, although we've been here for six minutes, the point is that I could easily spend maybe half an hour talking about this if you are interested in it. Go away and have a look yourself. The other final part here, and it is a final part, and that is that you can learn something by going in to look at the spoken words, because there are spoken words over the top of this, and there are I think um, 400 words spoken, if I open the transcript, all with the timestamps that the female narrator is speaking at about 103 words per minute, which provides a wonderful, wonderful script if you wanted to write the words that you wanted to speak and then play that over the top of the video. So in terms of components to finish up totally in this video is we've got drone footage, We've got animated slides, we've got photos, we've got real life like modern day footage, and we've also got 400 words spoken over the top. Look, that's it. Um, really, go away, watch this video quite a few times, send me a question or anything else, but I'm trying to understand my learning um, to do with how I can best educate myself and along the way educate anyone else who wishes to learn. Okay, thanks, bye.